Okay, here we are everyone. It's uh, August the 1st, 2012. It's 9.05 in the morning. I just got a phone call about 10-15 uh, minutes ago from David Blue, who is the owner of Mobile Filtration. David is coming down today. I got to get this ready. <clears throat> I'm going to cut a whole, pump all the fuel out, cut in a hole in the tank, clean the tank, put the lid back in, the access panel, clean all the fuel, put the fuel back in. And we should be good to go. All right, so that's it for now. I'll show you what it looks like when it's torn apart. Okay, everyone, this is David Blue from Mobile Filtration. He's the local expert. And what we're going to hopefully do today, it's uh, 10 o'clock on August the 1st, 2012. David is about ready to cut an access port in my fuel tank. So, he is going to cut the hole, pump the fuel, clean the tank, clean the fuel, put everything back together. Perfect. Hope, hope it goes that way. I'll show you his rig outside. It's not usual proprietary, is it? And here's the hose that's leaving the boat. Go on to here. It's going to pump it into that 55 gallon drum. It's going to be filtered through all this stuff. It's quite a setup. Of course, one of the big advantages David will come to the dock. So, looks like it's on life support. And there's Tony, the local expert. You see the junk going through the filter or the glass tube. Must have been in his hose. Couldn't have been in my tank. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah, there's junk coming yeah, through. Yeah, that's, that's just a sampling. <laughs> I took that hose and just you know, ran it back and forth a few times. Look at it. Yeah, there's a lot of shit. See aluminum chips going by. Of course, those are what I can Oh, yeah. Doing, doing nice and shiny. Have you ever had your job before? Uh, no, not, no, actually, no. No. Okay. <laughs> this is going on YouTube. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, nice. These are for racing. Okay. This is going on YouTube. You're going to put this on YouTube? Sure. So then, of course, we got air bubbles dancing around in there. Mm -hmm. But then you saw the, the, the material going. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. Probably just the beginning of it, actually, I guess. There's more shit to come. Oh, I'm thinking there is. I've been through this before. Yeah, here's another chunk of that aluminum stuff. We were, we, your sample, your, um, your little keepsake there. Here's another one here that got in the hose but didn't get all the way up and gone. Just enough to have, act like a flapper valve there. Yeah. Sure is. Would you prefer I don't shine the flashlight in there? Well, actually, that's the S60 better. Yeah. I'm being nosy, to be honest with you. <laughs> so I'm doing a little bit of both here. I'm grabbing the aluminum because it'll, it'll, the, the towel's kind of, kind of really. Um, um, Let's just stick in it. It sticks in it, yeah, really, yeah. really good. And then, of course, I'm just giving it a good wipe at the same time, trying to get uh, a little bit of both happening at the same time. saw the, of course we saw the stuff going out when I was pumping mm -hmm. you know that was the loose stuff that was back here more towards the pickup area
Yeah, that chunk of aluminum was uh, could easily have been. Yeah, uh, especially uh, as shallow as the tank uh, is. Exacerbating the situation where yeah, the tank is is not horribly dirty. No, it's uh, not really. I'm surprised. Yeah, and you know, I mean, it needed to be cleaned, but it was was not. It might have been you were that piece of aluminum was uh, dragging you down. And even though there was some crud arriving in the filter, also that could easily mess up a guy. Hell yeah. Uh, where it would give the same symptoms. Yeah. The engine would shut down. You go, ah, oh, the filters are dirty again. And the filters would come out, and they would have a little dirt on them. But actually, we were chasing our tail. Exactly. Because yeah. there was a cork floating around. That's in the right. Mix. It was, yep. Exactly. Yep. I got a great job from the uh, uh, landfill up. Let's there. go down inside the tank. Here's the tank. There's the baffle plate. There's the valve over there. It's a little bump. The room looks look pretty good. That looks like another piece of flashing. Right there. Okay. There's where the corners are cut out. Okay, now we're going to flush the tank. Okay. Here we are, David is uh, flushing the uh, system. Like a finishing touch. Yeah. Now, when I see the discolored aluminum at different levels on that baffle, that that those lines are not dirt so much. It's, it's like stains. Okay. It's like the fuel sat at that level. Yeah. And and it's you know it's kind of impregnated into the aluminum itself. But nothing is going to flake off. No, so the stains we don't care about. Yeah. Yeah, I see those all the time. They're like almost like tide lines. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, the fuel sat like that for some period of time. I don't know how long it takes to make a line, but it might be you know might be a year or whatever. Now it's showing half full. What'd you do? Okay, so you're saying, what is it right now? Okay, because right now, up here, you're saying it's half filled down there, right? Yep. It's half filled up here. Okay, do me a favor. Take it up to what you'd estimated three quarters. All right, now take it up. That's right on. Take it to what you'd estimate as full. See, the full is the one that's screwed up. Okay, back it off a little bit for me. Okay, come up slow to full. Okay, right there is full. Just on the tip of the F. All right. Good enough. Hey, David, put the... Uh, the ring. The ring in. Yeah. Tank is cleaned. You're happy with the clean. Yes, we're good and clean. Now, what would you say this job? 75%, 80% good because of that baffle? Yeah, actually more because the uh, the amount of uh, uh, material that was in there was 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 slight. Okay, so yeah. we're we're good. Yeah. All right, looks nice too. Yeah, it came together really well. Yeah, attention to detail. That's that's the thing. Okay, so let's go up and get. Couple things from the van. Uh, what grease do you recommend for this? I, I just got some assembly grease. I just want something on those threads, you know, metal to metal. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it also provides a bit of a seal. What about Vaseline? Yeah. Because I've had people say use Vaseline on stuff yeah, like that. That's, that's fine. All right. And you don't think I need to bleed anything? Nope. We're going to start the engine here before we go. Okay. Yeah. Just just you just make sure pro the uh, empirical yep. data says if it works, it's good. That's right. You get all the chips out, all the chips off the top, put some fuel treatment in, put the fuel in. The fuel gauge does look like it's working. I'm happy yeah. about that. Yeah, the gauge is working properly. Yeah, I had, I had, had bumped it there, and that, that was giving us a bad reading there. All right. No biggie. Hey, I'm a happy camper.
surprises me that that tank is not deeper, to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, I know. You take a look at what kind of boat it is and how yeah. big it is. and Weight. And, yeah. Race boat. Yeah. Okay, so here we are. We have the, uh, David has the access panel in, all assembled. The tank is cleaned. The old, the pre-diesel has been all filtered and used. Pickup and we'll, was checked. Uh, drain valve in the corner was checked and, and, and uh, cleaned. Uh, tank's been mopped out, flushed out, filtered to one micron. Good. I yeah. think it looks good. Yeah. And it's got a little bubble, but that's just the natural shape of the tank. Yeah, yeah, the aluminum's going to do that. Okay, yeah. and that's not an issue. Nope. And we know that we are... That has to do with our distance from our baffle yeah. here to there. There's just that, you know, that, that much um, uh, malleability to the aluminum. Cool. And we're going to take care of this, though. We're going to switch this. Tank. You have one? Uh, I don't know. We'll look. Okay. Yeah, we may luck out there. Okay. Yeah. Here's our new access port. Here's what a full tank looks like. Just touching the corner of the app. 